Good morning. Today we're at Jungle Gyms International Market in Fairfield, Ohio. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, but we're going to look around. This place is awesome. Huge farmer's market, one of the biggest in the country. Let's it's get... a grocery store, too. It, I know. It's crazy. This place is amazing. Let's get to it. The front area here of Jungle Gyms, they have a bunch of the Ohio Amish handcrafted metal art here. Some welcome signs, getting out the, the holiday decor here. Getting ready to bring it out, guys. This place is amazing. We did do a video where we go a little more in depth of everything they have here. Uh, we're gonna focus uh, a lot of stuff on the foods today, uh, but I will leave that video in the description box below in case you wanna check that out after this video. Now we do go over this in our other video where we kinda just go all throughout Jungle Gems, but they have this huge area right up front with all these Funko Pops, different toys, puzzles, all kinds of stuff. And here, the Jungle Gems podcast. This is where they do a podcast here. Uh, you can look it up. It is the WJJI podcast. Uh, it's really cool, really cool to listen to. Uh, they talk about everything here at Jungle Gems and a lot of events going around Cincinnati. Okay, so we are entering more of the grocery store area. Kind of has all the regular stuff in here. They have all these different cool like animatronics and stuff to look at. Very Disney inspired here at Jungle Gems. <laughs> and if you're ever at Jungle Gems, make sure you check out the Price Magic stickers here. Uh, $3.69 for a regular thing of Oreos. $3.99 pretty much in any store we go to. So a little cheaper on that. Plus uh, they have the big things of the Brockman's mustard here. Plockman's, sorry, Plockman's. Uh, we get comments on this kind of mustard every now and then. Can't never find it in the regular stores. They do have it at Jungle Gems. $1.39 for 24 ounces. Uh, regularly $2.99, so good deal on this. Usually all of their price magic uh, discounts are usually in the middle, up front, kind of out of the aisles, which you will find them in the aisles too. Uh, but yeah, pork and beans, 99 cents. These are the kind that Jessica uses uh, to make her maple beans. Um, 99 cents, usually $1.19 pretty much everywhere. Some people have been saying they've been finding these for $1.49 a can, which is ridiculous. But you can get them. Foodies, sure glad to see you today. Thanks for shopping. Wow, I never knew he talked. That is too cool. Underneath the big Campbell soup guy, of course, we're gonna find some Campbell soup. Let's take a look, see if, uh, oh, okay. So they ha they do have different kinds uh, that you won't find in other stores, like cream of shrimp. When's the last time you seen cream of shrimp? They are $2.99, um, and they have cheddar cheese here for $1.95. <laughs> Sorry, this place is a little overwhelming. And, and these soups are a little more expensive than what you're gonna pay at like Kroger's. Uh, Kroger's for these kind of soups are going to be right around $1.89 a piece. $1.95 here is a little expensive. Um, yeah, and some of this stuff is very expensive. $3.59 for the Campbell's Chunky Soups. That's pretty crazy, honestly. The, these have been uh, $2.79. They did go up at Kroger. They were $2.59, now $2.79. $3.59 here is a bit much. They have Progresso soups for $4.09. That is absolutely ridiculous. This is the most we've seen anywhere. Um, to be honest with you though, if you've, if you've never been to Jungle Gyms, this is not really, this isn't what we come to Jungle Gyms for. Uh, and we'll show you some of the international foods and stuff like that as we get down to them uh, and kind of just show off a lot of the things that they're, they're known for. They get a lot of different products, things that you don't find anywhere else in Cincinnati anyway. Some of these prices are a bit high for grocery shopping, but like I said, we wouldn't do our regular grocery shopping here because it's just, it's too expensive. Well, here's an okay deal, $1.19 for the Nor Rice sides here. Uh, we've been seeing these at $1.25 at Kroger. Um, let's see if these are the same size. These are the 5.4 ounces. Um, now these are the rice sides. The pasta sides are usually, um, 4.3 ounces, so a little less. Uh, but the rice is, I do believe they're all, oh, this one here is 5.5 ounces for the 
chicken flavor broccoli. So I guess it just depends on which flavor it is. These boxes of rice aroni here for $1.95, obviously that is crazy, but you get the regular ones here that are in most grocery stores uh, for $1.09, which they've been $1.19 at most grocery stores. So it's good to see. Does look like we are seeing some price increases from the last time we were here because I remember the Ben's original ready rice was $2.29 which at the time was cheaper than most places. This is actually on sale here for $264 now. So it doesn't, I don't think it shows the regular price of what it normally is, but this is way higher than it was the last time. I'll tell you what though, if you're looking for rice though, they've got so much rice and dry beans, it is crazy, crazy ridiculous. <laughs> they do have the Zatarans, which some people have been asking about. They got the Jambalaya one, uh, $2.99 for this. So, you know, it's a little pricey, but at least I got it in. Found some tuna here. We've been getting a lot of comments on tuna lately. One of the ones uh, people have been having a lot of trouble finding is the chicken of the sea. Um, they have it here. It is the chunk light tuna in water, 99 cents a can. That's about as good of a deal as we're gonna get. Uh, this is on sale here though, so I assume it'd be $1.39 a can regularly. Um, they do have the Sailor Red Sockeye Salmon here part of a sale two dollars and 39 cents gotten some comments on this too good sale on spaghettios 99 cents we've been seeing those go for a dollar 50 a can dollar for chef boyardee we've been seeing these go from anywhere from a dollar 25 to a dollar 50 a can so there are sales to be had here at jungle gems i do believe that jungle gems keeps an eye on the things that are running low because we always see things that we talk about in the comments up front and center. They do have the dunce, or the dunce, <laughs> the Hunts Diced Tomatoes, which have been very hard to find in the stores all across the country. They are $1.19, regularly about $2, so that's uh, pretty expensive, but they do have it on sale. Believe me, they know that this has been hard to get. That's why this is sitting here. So make sure when you come to Jungle Gems that you always look up at all the signs and animatronics that they have here. This is absolutely true. They have award-winning restrooms that when you go up to the front of the restroom, it looks like a port -a but you open up the port -a and it opens up into the bathroom. What do you think of the bathrooms? <laughs> so I did show this the last time we were here. Best Cheese Shop of Cincinnati. They have all kinds of cheese. They also have one big block that weighs 762 pounds. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. The big cheese weighs in at 762 pounds. Did you know our big cheese takes three months to make before it gets here? It is then aged in our cooler until it's matured and is ready to be taken down for your enjoyment. How cool is that? And as we look around here, they show you on maps, different parts of the world that these cheeses come to. When they say the big one of the biggest international markets in the country, they are not kidding, or in the world, they are not kidding. Um, it is just cheese for days. There's a ton of cheese here. Again, we go a little more depth in this in our first Jungle Gems video, and I will leave that video in the description box below. And over here next to the cheese, they have the charcuterie area where you can order any of your charcuterie needs that is just awesome and don't be a chicken ask for a sample <laughs> and over here when you thought the cheese was over we're just getting started some brie stuff from france spain switzerland belgium newark got the gouda england and this is amazing boy am i glad we had breakfast before we came here what you got there? This $120 cheese. Oh my goodness. What kind of cheese is it? Guanaba Rosemary Munchango. Guanaba Rosemary Chango. 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 However you say that. Is it rock solid? How much does it weigh? Here, set it in my hand. Sorry. Oh my. Seven pounds. Oh my goodness. That is heavy. Just five pieces. Oh, how much is that piece? This piece is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little more in our price range. <laughs> what do you this got? This looks like a Hershey Kiss uh, made out of cheese. A Hershey Kiss of cheese. What is that? Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> that's just cheese. 
I'll tell you what, guys. If you cannot find the cheese that you like here, it does not exist. I mean, walls and walls of cheese. This is epic. Okay, so where we are right now, I would have to say we're probably in the middle of the store. This is a huge grocery store, so I would definitely bring some gym shoes with you because you're going to be walking around for a long time. Uh, we're probably not even halfway through. We kind of walked through a lot of the, a lot of the cool stuff. There's a lot of like cast iron lodge, lots of things at the front of the store. But again, we go over all that in our other video. But I wanted to point out that if you're getting hungry. They do have a Jersey Mike's sitting right here in the middle of the store. So you can get you a sub, sit down, relax. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Also, right next to Jersey Mike's here, they have a Starbucks coffee. So if you need to get a quick pick-me-up to adventure throughout this huge store, it's a place to go. Been a lot of talk of butter lately. Uh, they actually have a butter bar. Dedicated to all kinds of fancy, international, different types of butters. They got Tillamook here. Uh, let's see, how much is that? $6.99 for four of them. Tillamook's an expensive brand anyway. Uh, they do have the Minerva Dairy here. Uh, wow, that's a big, thick piece there. $16.99 for two pounds. Like I said, a lot of this stuff's going to be more expensive than you're going to find in most grocery stores. But, you know, it's very high quality here. $6.99 here for the grassland salted butter and the unsalted butter. Uh, $6.99 for these. Uh, let's see, USDA grade double A. So, you know, you get what you pay for. I mean, that's really good stuff right there. Got some of the Kerry Gold butter down here. Let's see, okay, so the eight ounces, uh, $4.99. Now, we've, we saw it for $5.49 at Kroger. Um, they do have the spreadable kind also with canola oil for $4.99. That's good to see. Um, they only have the unsalted. I don't see the salted anywhere. Um, but they've got... Um, it, actually, I mean, it looks kind of low. Usually this is overflowing. But, you know, they may just be getting around to it. Uh, they got the pure British butter here. Uh, the Summerdale. Uh, we've actually gotten... A, it's been a while, but we got some comments on this to see if I can find anywhere. Uh, I haven't seen it in any grocery store, but they do have it at Jungle Gems. $6.99 for that, and that is also 8 ounces. And this right here, folks, is the restrooms. I'm not going to go in there, but here's the women's. Here's the men's. You go into the portalet. Oh, we'll, we'll watch this. So you go back in there. And it actually looks like you're going into a portalet, and then it opens up into the bathroom in the back. It's pretty awesome. So as we come through the main area here, this is where their bakery is, which I highly recommend stepping by. They do have the candy spot over here that takes up this whole section. Again, we highlight a lot of this stuff in our other video, but we are going to check out some of the Gerber's Amish Farm chicken here. Got a lot of great comments on this the last time we were here. Check out some of it. So yes, it is a little bit pricey here for some of this chicken, but we got so many great comments. I just kind of wanted to talk about it for here for a second. They do have the boneless, skinless fryer breast here, $9.15, $9 it's so $6.49 a pound. Now they do have some wings here. Now these are $2.89 or $3.99 a pound. But look at these, these are some of the best looking wings I've ever seen. Uh, they do have, let's see, got some thighs here, uh, $1.99 a pound. So that's not, that's not too bad for good Amish Gerber's chicken. Uh, they got the the whole fryers here. Doesn't seem too bad. You got two sixty nine a pound. This one right here is four point three eight pounds for eleven dollars and seventy eight cents. I don't really feel like these prices are too bad. Actually, I think these might have lowered some since the last time we were here. I remember the chicken wings were like four ninety nine a pound. So uh, they do have the breast here. These are six forty nine a pound. Um, but this this is a pretty small package here. It comes out to eight dollars and thirty seven cents. Um, yeah, really good looking chicken here. All kinds of different sausages and brats here next to the Amish chicken. Somebody was asking about the Land of Frost. Uh, this here is still 10 ounces. I know you were saying that yours had gone to 8 ounces, but that was at Walmart. This is at Jungle Gem, so they're probably going to have more. Here's a pound right here. Uh, $6.79 for a pound. Uh, this beef here says $6.79 too, and that's only 10 ounces, so I don't know. 
probably a lot cheaper at Walmart, but at least they have it here as an option. And uh, look at this. Got some Braunschweiger. John Morrell, 409. Okay, wow. Looks like they got the Nathan's Corn Dogs in here. Somebody asked about these a while back. I've, I've never seen them. Uh, more importantly, we have some turkeys here. First time I've seen turkeys anywhere. We've had a lot of comments asking if we could find any. Um, don't see a price on them. Let's see if it has on here. Uh, $1.59 a pound. The total of this one is $22.85. Um, they do have some of the small turkey breasts here. But yeah, first time I've seen whole turkeys in any store around here. So good to know. And as we start to walk back a mile back here into the store, we start coming up on the farmer's market here. They have these bell peppers on sale here today. I gotta say these look fantastic. The yellow, red, and orange for 77 cents each. That's amazing. Another amazing deal they got out here, the honey crisp apples. Now we've been seeing honey crisp apples on sale lately, but not for this. 99 cents a pound, that's amazing. And here we are back into the huge farmer's market area here of Jungle Gems. I gotta say, this is pretty awesome. Uh, just stuff all over here, guys. $3.49 for a pint of these blueberries. Um, boy, these look really good, though, I gotta say. I mean, it's a little pricier for, uh, that's not even a pint. That's six ounces. They do, I see some peaches over here. So they do have the California yellow peaches, $2.99 a pound. But look at these guys. Look at these. These are the best looking peaches I've seen all summer. Beautiful looking plums here too. These are huge. Black plums here, $2.49 a pound. It's a great deal. And they got the yellow nectarines here, California. Very good looking. Nothing but the best here at Jungle Gems. Now their Cara Cara oranges, these are the pink navel oranges, four for five dollars. But look at this, look at that. And it's, it's cold, like they just brought it out from the back. This is like as fresh as it gets. I mean, this is awesome. These are good, I can smell the citrus here. <laughs> oh, we just got back here, look at this guys. This is huge. They bring it in right off the trucks and they have an army of people stacking up the fresh vegetables and fruits and everything. We're gonna get back there, check it all out. Love this place. I'll tell you what, you come to Cincinnati, you can make a vacation day out of this shopping here. You get some of the fanciest treats, some of the best produce. I mean, guys, this is where it's at. Uh, look at the, oh, look at this. Look at these tomatoes. Yeah, they're pricey. Oh wait, that's for cucumbers, oh. Vine ripe tomatoes, that must be these over here. But look at these, I'm not really sure which one these are. Maybe they're off the vine. I don't know, but look at this. Look at this tomato. Yeah, you got a little, little spot there, but you know what? This is right off the farm, guys. That thing is huge, huge. When's the last time you've seen tomatoes like this at Kroger? Um, these are $2.49 a pound, same price. Well, a little more, a little more. Uh, Kroger's been running a sale on them, but, you know, they're like pink. They're not even red at Kroger. Got the awesome Italian sweet peppers here for $1.99 a pound. Again, all this stuff, guys, 100% fresh. You get, I wish I could send the smell out to you guys. We need, like, a smell-o-vision, like in Willy Wonka or something. But, I mean, this is just smelling all the fresh vegetables. It's just, it's awesome. It's great. And over here, we have a ton more of the pepper. So if you're not satisfied with the ones they had up front there, they've got tons of them here. It's just great. Look at these green peppers, too. We've been getting a lot of comments. Green peppers have looked terrible in the grocery stores. My, really, most produce has looked kind of bad in the grocery stores. But here, this looks like something out of a magazine. No shortage on potatoes here, and I like how they have them all out. To where you can get your you know whatever you want look at these red potatoes these are the best i've seen all summer guys all summer and let's see variety loose potatoes red and gold they scratched out the russet i don't know if that might be an issue with the shortage of russet potatoes lately 99 cents a pound though these are a dollar 49 a pound at kroger right now if you can find them 
green beans right off the land. Living with the land, guys. One of my favorite rides at Epcot, by the way. <laughs> but they have the, the runner beans here, $1.99 uh, a pound. But the stringless green beans, 99 cents a pound. So, you know, some pretty good deals. And especially, you know, it's coming right right off the farm and into your homes, guys. This is, this is awesome. Sorry, I know I'm, like, overly excited, but you guys know I love my tomatoes. It is so great to see some fresh tomatoes. Just awesome. Awesome that we've got our farmers out here. Most, all, most or all of this is all locally local farms between Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. So you're supporting local groups here. So over here in their complete organic section... Uh, they have a lot of different things. They got the Driscoll's, which is very popular with a lot of people. Uh, six ninety nine for a pound, which probably is a little more than you're going to find at Kroger. Three ninety nine though for a pint, full pint of blueberries, which that's good. Okay, so since we've been talking about shortages of potatoes lately, I wanted to point out they do have the five pound bags of the red potatoes for three ninety nine. Five pound bag of the Idaho potatoes for $2.99, which is a good deal these days. Uh, and a five pound bag of the Yukon gold potatoes for $3.99. And I gotta say, I mean, it's good that they have them. Uh, you know, there's been a major shortage of potatoes. Oh, these are the dole too. Major shortage of potatoes all across the country lately. And uh, yeah, it's good to see that they're getting them in. This is a 10 pound bag right here. I didn't see a sign for the 10 pounders um i don't know but it's good to see they got them in okay so we have some of the ohio michael farms sweet corn which i gotta say you know always follow the people there are a lot of people here getting this corn today it means it's probably really good and also you can chuck the corn here yourself and throw it in the garbage so you can i mean that's pretty cool i i don't know if I would do that, but I mean, it's cool that you can. It's an option. They pretty much have a whole area dedicated to mangoes, guys. <laughs> Got a box here for $13.99 if you want. Mexico fruit mangoes here, nine count case for $8.99. And they've got singles that you can get here, the Mexican ones for 99 cents each. Uh, this is awesome. They got the Florida Mammy uh, Sapote. $4.99. $4.99 a pound. I mean, geez. They've got so much. Yellow dragon fruit, $4.99 a pound. Uh, the Florida star fruit. Wow, good luck finding this. Uh, $2.49 each. We've had a couple comments that it's been really hard to find ginger root lately. Uh, we saw some at Kroger a while ago, but it's been a while. They have the Peruvian ginger root here and some Jamaican ginger root. Just all different kinds here. This is really cool. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so this is, yeah, I was gonna say, here's the Peruvian ginger root, $1.99 a pound. And they have a ton of it. Also, just when you thought it was over, we've got all kinds of different things here. We got the Canadian pine cherry tomatoes, Canadian mixed medley tomatoes, and the nature fresh grape tomatoes here. All lined up. I tried these the last time we were here. They are fantastic. The nature's fresh. Uh, they've got some iceberg lettuce here. Uh, California iceberg lettuce, too, for $5. You know, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's a little pricey for a head of lettuce, but um, all, well, look at this. Got some celery here. I say it's $1.99 for one thing of it here, but we've been seeing it. We saw it regular price, $2.29 at Meyer. And I guarantee you it's not this fresh. Uh, this is where they bring it in, right off the trucks. Uh, it's really awesome. They have their groups back here that bring it up. Throw it right on here for you, as fresh as you could possibly imagine. They got the green leaf lettuce here for $2.19. Uh, some of the red leaf lettuce there for $2.19 a pound. Uh, just so much. And the smell is just, I could stay here all day. I remember somebody saying that the California carrots were their favorite. Well, you can get them on ice here. Uh, $1.99 a bunch uh, for one thing of it here with a rubber band, $1.99. They've got the butter lettuce. Butter lettuce. All right. $1.99 each. It's pretty cool, guys. I got the fresh watercress 
uh, $1.99 for a bunch, and the bunched spinach here, uh, $1.99 a pound. So I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming that a pound is probably one bunch of it. Uh, they got the celery root for $5.99 a pound, and the parsnips here for $2.49 a pound. Oh, they got these little sprayers that come out here, same as the grocery stores, but it looks real fancy here. Uh, broccoli crowns, freshest I've seen ever, $2.99 a pound. A little pricey, but, you know, like I said, you get what you pay for. Look at this. Fresh red beets. We've been getting a lot of comments that beets have been hard to find. We saw them at the store the other day at Kroger, which was surprising because we haven't seen them there in a while. They do have them here, $1.99 a pound. Uh, let's see. Got the celery hearts. $2.99 each, so a little pricey, but... Okay, so there's a lot of people lining up here, so I want to make sure I didn't get in their way. Uh, they do have the California Loose Carrots here, 99 cents a pound, also on ice, making it as, keeping it as fresh as possible for you until it comes out of their store and into your car. California Bunch Broccoli, three for five dollars. Okay, so that don't sound too bad. Three of them for five bucks. Broccoli's kind of been going through the roof lately. And look at this. They've got a ton of it. And it just looks great. Wanted to show some of these Amish, Ohio Amish red seeded watermelons. Look how big these are. $6.99. $6.99. Like, that's what the prices are going for, like, regular watermelons now. That's, uh, that's pretty good, right? Sounds like a good one. One thing I walked past before, but I wanted to show, because we always get comments on avocados. Got the big avocados here, two for three dollars. Now we've been seeing ones th this size go for uh, anywhere from $1.99 to $2.49, so not too bad there. And as we start to come over, we can see Bart here near the end of the farmer's market, but it continues. It just completely continues all the way around the bend here. We're not gonna be able to do all this. I gotta catch up with Jessica. She's in the international market area. So we're gonna check out some of this, but no kidding guys. I, I could be here all day for a week. This place is nuts. Okay, so I've entered the international food market area and I had a feeling we were, you know, we had gotten some comments that some of these areas were fairly low Due to everything that has gone on, this is the Malaysian section. Here's some Taiwan section. But as we can see, they're a lot lower in the things because we can't get the products. We're not getting them in. And that's sad because, uh, you know, this could be filled uh, with a lot of different things to try. And that's what I love about the international market here is just for that, trying new things. Oh, and when I said big... I meant to say ginormous. We've got Asian, Germany, East Europe, China, India, just all kinds of different things. Uh, let's see, yeah, Germany there, Africa over here behind the uh, fire truck there. <laughs> so I found Jess in the Japanese area here, checking out some of the Japanese treats. It's like a whole wall of Japanese stuff, it's crazy. Uh, some of these snacks, I don't know. This thing is, I don't know what they, what they taste like. You pretty much just gotta look at the picture and go with your gut. While Jess is doing a little shopping over there, I thought I would show some of these crazy drinks that they have here, like Dr Pepper. Dollar <laughs> ninety nine for that? That is ridiculous. Um, no, some really weird drinks. Kickapoo Joy Juice. $1.79 for that, just some real weird random like root beers and stuff. I may have tempted to try one of these, but it's like, there is so many. Look at this, brownie caramel cream root beer. That sounds interesting. One I saw over here, they've got this Avery's Toxic Slime. Blueberry, blueberry, ras blue raspberry orange drink. And these are non-alcoholic, let me just say that right away. All these are non-alcoholic, ugh. Sweet corn soda. Would you try that? Let me know down in the comments. I love corn. I love corn on the cob. I don't know about it in a drink, though. Dang. Oh, dang, that's good. Dang, that's good. You guys know how I always say dang. Butterscotch root beer. What? 
How much is this? Two nineteen. Uh, yeah, or you can I don't know. Oh, is there a little bit of a deal? You get a box of them. Oh, okay. Four, six, mix and match. Yeah, I don't know. I might just try one. We'll see. Okay, so call us gutsy, but we are going to try one of these. And you see they're kind of hopefully being funny with some of the names. Dog Drool, Unicorn Yak. <laughs> I'm going to try the Toxic Slime. Uh, which one are you going to try? Bug Barf? I think this one. The Fungal Fruit. What else they got here? Zombie Brains. Zombie Brain Juice. Alien Snot. Gamer Goop. Monster, what does that say? Mucus. Monster mucus. Swamp juice. Wow. Here, that is hilarious. Kitty piddle. Kitty piddle. <laughs> Warm ooze. Well, guys, that was our trip to Jungle Gems. Uh, yeah, it, it's too big of a store to cover in one trip. Our, it's a zoo in there. It is a zoo. It really is. Uh, so much stuff. Wanted to focus a lot on the farmer's market part of jungle gems today it is very awesome if you visit cincinnati you gotta come here and don't come here just for the vegetables uh there are tons of there cities. is it's anything just, you can think it's of it's so busy and it's hard to get around don't come on a saturday come like in the yeah week. don't the come week. yeah it's, it's saturday today it is very crowded well it's like kids are back at school now so saturday obviously is when people are doing their shopping yeah so. come here on a tuesday or yeah. wednesday just come because it's overwhelming come early it's very busy <laughs> yeah but, uh, yeah, we didn't end up getting those drinks. Uh, it said on the side of it, very gross soda. Yeah. It's so a it was really like, disgusting uh, soda. And I don't know if that was just, like, the name of it, like, to be funny. Yeah, but... But I didn't want to get it and then it'd be actually really gross. Right, so I'm like, right. I'm not buying this. Well, guys, we really hope you enjoyed the video today. We had an awesome time. Jungle Gems is great. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure it's is out there. there. Thank you.